Alright everybody, today we are going to be doing Mareep Flappy slash Ampharos. I don't know about you guys, but I never played with this one past Flappy anyways. I think I might have had a Mareep, leveled it up to Flappy, but I don't think I ever evolved it into Ampharos. I'm not really sure why after I played this. I wasn't really sure what to expect going into this. We've seen Mareep's stats, the one right before this. This is a Flappy's stats. Um, the special attack is okay. The HP is pretty decent. Everything else is pretty mid. It's fairly balanced across the board. Nothing's like extraordinarily out of the way other than the speed isn't the best. This is Ambrose's stats here. Um, we can see the level up moveset on the right. We learned um, Thundershock at level 9. That is going to be essential to beating Faulkner. We might be able to do it at a lower level, but I think that at 9 with Thundershock we should be able to do it. So we are going to do some of the Pokemon along the way. That way we don't have to go back and grind. Um, basically just enough wild Pokemon where we don't have to um, grind. Um, these are the level up movesets, or the TM moveset, I mean. Um, we are going to be using Thunder Punch, obviously. Fire Punch is going to be a game changer, though. I didn't really know how I felt about Fire Punch being on it at first, but it ended up being actually really nice that we had that. Um, we seen the rival fight there was really easily, uh, really easy. With Thundershock here, Faulkner was extremely easy. Mareep already levels up into Flaffy at this point. It actually doesn't stay Mareep very long. Um, it levels up pretty quickly. Um, and it is nice to do a three-stage Pokemon this time because it's so easy. Um, in fact, this was so fun to play. I was like, you know, I kind of want to play with, like, every electric type in the game and then move on to the next typing. So, like, I think the next Pokemon I choose is going to be an electric type. And I think that I might try to, at least for a couple Pokemon in a row, stick to a theme of electric typing here. And maybe we'll see which one... I enjoyed the most or felt the easiest for someone like me who isn't you know over the top about things and like um i'm not trying to be the fastest here this is just a casual playthrough for each of them and which feels the best for someone to play through so that hiker in the cave in between faulkner and bugsy actually is one of the points that where we had a trouble here um, bugsy was pretty easy um i will say that there is just certain points in the game that was surprisingly difficult um, I thought that this would be more difficult than it was, honestly. I thought we might have a reset here. I chose to face against the Bayleaf team because um, w Thunder doesn't hit that hard. Our electric moves don't really hit that hard. Later on, we do get Fire Punch, though. So, I mean, the rival is never really that big of an issue anyways. But that should be the last time the rival fight should be that close. Um, we do end up beating the rival fight. And it was actually kind of close, though. Um, this is the third fight in a row now, by the way, with Whitney here, where Paris got dragged out. So if you notice Paris leveled up, I don't remember if I showed a screen or a, a clip of Paris being on screen before it all, but um, that's one of my HM users here, and it gets dragged out so many times that it <laughs> levels up, um, like a couple times, I think, like three levels, I think, in total, because it did that through different battles. Kind of crazy. Anyways, Sudowoodo here. I kind of wanted to show that just because Flaffy and Mareep and Ampros all were so easy that I was like, you know, let's just go ahead and show as much as we can because this is going to be a short video at this point. <laughs> so um, the next rival fight, extremely easy. I had Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, and Return at this point. I got that right after Whitney, I think. Um, I don't know really why I didn't get that for Whitney, but I did wait till after Whitney to get that. But we obviously did not need that for Whitney because you've seen how easy that was. Um, with Morty here, this was actually one where we did lose, but it was kind of like a lottery thing where we just got put to sleep and paralyzed so much that that's why this fight actually isn't hard. We went back in and did it on the second try. You just kind of have to get a little bit more lucky with like, if you're paralyzed, for example, to not be fully paralyzed. If you're not fully paralyzed, like all of the Pokemon, it's really easy for us to take them down. Um, with this one, I thought that it would be pretty easy as well with Polyrath and it was, Normally I go fight Price first, but we have Fire Punch, so I went ahead and just did Jasmine while I was here, and yeah, all of her Pokemon were one hits. Um, price is also not an issue. If Pillow Swine knew like Earthquake or something, then maybe it would be. Um, not sure why I'm just sitting here on the fight screen. I wondered why when I was like editing this originally, why the Price thing was so long. I was like, Price isn't that difficult. I must have been thinking about something. <laughs> It's interesting, though, that um, ground doesn't resist fire moves, or actually, no, I think it does, but it's just we're so good with fire punch because our special attacks are best attack anyways that we end up doing it. Um, we do go down to Claire here the first time, 
But that is, again, we get really bad luck with being fully paralyzed. I almost said paralyzed. Um, fully paralyzed. And so we just go back in the second time and end up being able to take care of it. And it really wasn't too bad the second time. We just have to not be fully paralyzed. So not too inconsistent. It was, like, kind of close, I guess. We were in the red, technically. But... Um, the last rival battle here was also, of course, extremely trivial. We have Fire Punch, which is really good. And I did check um, Hidden Power, by the way, for those curious. Um, my Hidden Power in this one, I think was... I couldn't tell for sure it was either Bug or Fighting, and either way, it wasn't good. So um, I got rid of it, and like, I always like get it, test it out, and then if it's a bad typing, I just like reset to a save point that I do right before that. Anyways, um, the Elite Four here, Will was extremely easy with the moves we have. Koga is extremely here with all the moves we have. Bruno is probably the most challenging, actually, so far at least. Um, it sets up Sandstorm, and that um, is actually pretty bad for Ampharos. Um, thankfully, a lot of the fighting moves they have have pretty high chances to miss. Um, so if they were to connect on all their hits, we would definitely go down to Bruno here, and we probably would have to level up a little bit more. But we are able to beat Bruno on the first try as well. Um, Karen, we get through here on the... Um, and we take down Umbreon on the first try. We take down Vileplume, obviously, with Fire Punch on the first try. With Gengar, we end up using... Uh, what do I use here? Oh, Fire Punch. Our PP was really low at this point, though. So we was trying to spread things out a little bit. Houndoom goes down to Fire Punch here. And then Murkrow goes down to Thunder Punch as well. We end up um, getting all of our PPs back with, I think I had an elixir or whatever that one thing is. Um, I could see some issues here, but we end up not having issues. We end up taking them down on the first try. Um, you know, this is the easiest run I have had in so long with a Pokemon. I hope that you guys enjoy this. Let me know which electric type you would like to see next. Thank you. Bye-bye.